I'm Louis Razzo. We're staying in front of my fish store, which is F. Razzo & Sons in Chelsea. My business was started in 1900 by my great-grandfather, Felix Razzo. So my father retired in, I want to say, 1995, and I've been running the fish business ever since. We started on 7th Avenue and 23rd Street, like our first store at F. Razzo & Sons. In fact, our first truck was in 1916 and my great-grandfather's renting a place on 7th Avenue and then this building came for sale. We've been in this building since the late 1920s. I just had one of my grandfather's price sheets where swordfish was 87 cents a pound and uh, flounders were like six cents a pound. I like to think there's not that many fourth generation businesses left, especially four generations that really go down the line of great-grandfather, grandfather, father and myself, and it makes me incredibly proud. In fact, my son is a sophomore at University of Rhode Island, and every time he comes home from school for breaks, he's working at the fish store. We bring in fish from all over the world, but what we really do is we uh, supply restaurants with the finest and freshest fish possible. And local fish like fluke and sea bass and monkfish, I get out of the water, you know, eight, nine hours out of the water, it's in my fish store, then it's to the restaurant probably in another two or three hours. So our goal is to get the restaurant the, the freshest fish possible uh, from local purveyors and also from you know places all over the world. What my goal is is to is to satisfy the chef basically. I'm trying um, to, to gain relationships with commercial fishermen, local commercial fishermen. Uh, I try to gain relationships with brokers in Boston. Uh, we buy off the auctions up in Maine. So we're trying to search for the freshest fish, trying to get the fish here as fast as possible, and try to get it to the restaurants as fast as possible. The challenges are that a lot of these chefs that make it that far generally have large egos. And they want the best fish possible. So it's a challenge every day to make sure you're putting a consistent product out there uh, and making sure you're filleting the fish, pin boning the fish, skinning the fish exactly the way the chefs like it. Danielle doesn't want to know anything. They want to have sea bass every day because it's on his menu. It's up to me to make sure I find the sea bass. And what that sometimes entails is offering these commercial fishermen more money than probably the fish is worth. But I, I, I have to absolutely have that sea bass for Danielle. So, so, you know, what my business is is very repetitive because most of my restaurants order the same thing every day. You know, on Friday they'll order more than they will on a Wednesday, but basically it's the same items every day. And I'm, uh, I'm obligated to go out and find that, you know, the items that these guys want. Thankfully we do a tremendous amount of business, and some people might think that we outgrew the space. But I like the space because I can keep my eye on the fish. You know, I, I, can, I always know what's in my fish store. I can really have a hands-on uh, idea of the quality, make sure that everything is the best. If the 21 Club needs something by lunch and it's 11 o'clock, I can usually do it. You know, all the hotels that I sell, I'm always making second deliveries. And to make a second delivery from the Bronx to, let's say, JW Marriott, you know, is, is difficult. Doing it from here isn't as difficult. I think there is a change. I think the change is going to more sustainable local seafood. Chefs are getting tired, I think, of using the same thing over and over again. And guys like uh, Mama Fuko and David Chang, you know, start using things like porgies. And Kerry Hefferman is also a big influence on seafood, trying, trying to use local fish. I think instead of just always having salmon and tuna fish on the menu, you know, we're supporting our local commercial fishermen, we're supporting the area. Uh, the fish is fresher because I get it much quicker than, let's say, I do uh, salmon out of Canada. There's nothing that makes me more proud than going to La Bernardine or going to a Morea or going to so many of the restaurants I sell and be able to order my own fish.